Hello YouTube, my, my first tutorial for FL Studio. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to speed up our propeller without changing the pitch. So your finished product won't sound, won't sound like it's being made by DJ Rankin. Um, first of all, you need to open up your mixer. Go to insert one, select Edison. Now you can either drag and drop an audio sample into there or you can load it. I want to load one, Prodigy, you're no good. And the first thing we need to do is we need to set the tempo for the acapella. And the way we do that is we press play in Edison and then you move up to the tempo, right click, and select tap. Now when I do that, the, the box won't come up, I don't know why, but it doesn't. But anyway, it's, it's, it's at the top, tap, so we press play. When you're happy with the tempo, don't click the tick, click the cross, because if you click the tick, it'll make the whole song at speed. Um, right click on the name, and where it says tempo here, change that to whatever the tempo was, accept. Now the tempo is set for this, if you open your playlist, and drag the acapella into your playlist. Next thing we need to do is in your step sequencer, click on the sample, uh, on the time stretching part, if you right click on the time and go to auto detect, that's the second one down, first one's none, then auto detect, one beat, two beats, auto detect, and if you noticed, the, the waveform changed slightly. So what we need to do is we need to change this to Pro Default, which is the second one down. And you'll notice after it loads up here, the waveform will change slightly again. Now it's done. So when you change the tempo of your song, it'll ask you to restretch all channels, say yes. It'll load again. But this will stay the same, the acapella will stay the same, and the tempo will stay the same, but it will be sped up. Hope this has been of some help. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave comments, and I'll help you with anything I can. Thanks for watching.